Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning back into another Red Robe Talk. Y'all, since that daggone Cheesecake Factory woman popped out, now we got all these women coming out with, I won't do this, and I won't do that, and I won't eat here, and I won't eat there. <clears throat> but women, can I make one thing clear to y'all? Because y'all got it all twisted. Because not even for him, but for yourself, right? What if this man asks you to go on a date? And you say, yeah. And he takes you to this nice five-star restaurant where you got to sit there. You know, you got to get your food. So it's going to take a while. So you're there about an hour, maybe two hours with this man eating. Right? But what if you figure out in like 15 minutes of sitting now that this man is a complete asshole. And you don't want to be around him no more. You see what I'm saying? A coffee date would be better. Going out to get some drinks would be better. Because if you don't like them, you ain't going to be there long because you ain't doing getting drinks and you could go. But if you don't order this five-course meal and then you got to wait and he a total, total jackass, you sitting there with him that whole time. Yeah, your food might be good, but you don't have good conversation. You don't know, like the person you're sitting next to or in front of. So a coffee date or a drink date would be better. Y'all women got it so twisted. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But that was, I just was thinking like, I mean, think about it. You sitting there, you enjoying your food. But that's all you can do is enjoy your food. Or maybe because a lot of y'all be on y'all cell phones taking pictures of your food and scrolling on TikTok and Facebook and on Snapchat and Instagram and all these things that you ain't even had a meaningful conversation anyway. A lot of y'all I see be on a date and everything of y'all taking pictures of your food and you're supposed to be conversing with that man so that you can, you know, get an understanding of what he like. He can understand of what you like. Y'all can get to know each other. But y'all sitting there scrolling on all these apps so i mean maybe that's why when you wouldn't worry about it because you ain't paying him no attention no way was that's why you're supposed to be on the date to get data from that man of what he like and he can get data from you or what you like so y'all can see if you're compatible because yeah you can have chemistry you can like somebody because that's what we all see when we first meet somebody you know that when we first meet somebody it's chemistry why our eyes. We see with our eyes first. That's the physical. That's the physical. Everybody, when they first meet somebody, it's the physical that they see. You can't see that person hard. You can't see how that person going to treat you or how that person going to respect you or not respect you or whatever. You can't see that. So, you sitting there, you, you know, on this date or whatever for two or three hours and you're miserable but your belly full I, I, I'd rather have some drinks and call it a night because guess what if it's going good we could continue to drink and guess what a lot of places they got drinks they got something to eat so you could order something to eat too once you feel like okay this is going okay but if it's going straight down the drain honey I'm ready to go so I thought I drink my drink. I'm like, all right, then I, I have to, you know, nice meeting you. You know, this didn't work out, you know, whatever. And that's it. Don't be like, oh, okay, call me tonight. No, if you know it ain't going good, why you want somebody to call you? Just I'm like, no, this didn't work out. I appreciate you. But we are on two different levels. We we think in two different things when it comes to what we want to, you know, in a relationship. We on two different levels, two different levels. So it ain't going to work. So thank you for the day. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever. And bye-bye. But if you sit in there for two hours and three hours with the food, and he a total, total, total turn off, then what? Like I said, you got your belly full? I'd rather pass. I'd rather go get me some drinks <laughs> and see how it flow from there. Because I did it before. I, I went on a date one time before like that. I went to this bar, and we sat at the bar. Well, it was a food place, but we sat at the bar. 
we got something to drink we got some little you know appetizers and i realized like mm -mm, i ain't really feeling him actually i wanted to feel, feel him physically you know but i was trying to do something different but like i tell people i don't care who it is if you don't like them physically don't do it don't do it i get it you can learn to like them and learn to love them and see their heart but guess what this is the way i feel about it right if you don't like them physically even though they treat you good if somebody else come along and you like the way they look and they treat you good then you might be liable to cheat on that person because of the fact that they ain't really got that physical that really draw you in and the other person got that physical and that you know everything so you know think of the movie temptation if you ever seen the movie temptation no what is it not temptation what was it I, the tyler Perry movie that one with the temptation and i can't think of the name of it is but anyway see how she had a good husband she was attracted to him he was good and everything but that's not what she was that's what she liked when she was younger when she got older she wanted more excitement and she wanted somebody daring and her husband wasn't that so her husband appealed to her in the physical and she liked that he worked and he was a man to do but he he didn't do that excitement for her. And the other man came in. She liked the way he looked physically. The excitement was there. The way he treated her before he showed her his true colors was there. So she liked that. And even though he treated her bad, she still kept going back to him. Even though he treated her bad, she still kept going back to the man she cheated on her husband with. So yeah, that goes to show you right there, when a woman is physically attracted to that man, that's it. It's it's a wrap. We see the heart later, but first we we see that we see with our eyes. That's the first thing we see. We see with our eyes. So that's what you have to like first. So I don't care nobody say, oh he ain't cute, but I talk so because he do that. Don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't set yourself up for failure. Because I feel like eventually, if something better looking come along that'll treat you good, you'll be then dipped out. Yeah. But anyway, so let's get back to this subject of the whole thing. Of, so remember, y'all, go on a coffee date. Go to the bar. You know, go somewhere quick where it don't take long. If you don't want to be there, you can get up and go. Because if you go to a five-star restaurant, you got to sit there for at least an hour or two because you know you got to order your food. They got to make your food and all that, get it to you. So at least an hour or two, might be three or four with somebody that's getting on your everlasting last nerve, honey. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> so y'all stop being like that. And stop talking about all these places you want to eat. Y'all ate there before. Stop acting like you're too big now. Stop acting like that. Rich people still eat McDonald's. So what's the difference? I get it. No, you don't want him to take you on a McDonald's first day. I get that. I get that. But y'all act like, I, I, I'll never eat those places. Girl, please buy. You know you have. Probably got a quarter pound in your hand right now munching on it. Stop being like that. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I just want to get my little piece in it because I just be like, man, these people, these women going crazy with these lists now. Even I'm looking at it. I mean, I'm looking like, what the what? If I was a man, I wouldn't even dare step to y'all for real. Because th th that list, y'all y'all need to stop it. Y'all need to stop it. But anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, and just for spending some time with me. And remember, y'all stay blessed because you are definitely blessed.